Hey GDB users, did you know that you can debug in reverse? You can basically step and next and continue backwards in your programs? Well, sometimes you can. Anyway, let's talk about it. So I've had a few requests to talk about reverse debugging on this channel, and it's so cool and also so frustrating, and so today's the day, let's talk about it. So we all know the feeling you're debugging a program, you're stepping through code or jumping from breakpoint to breakpoint, and all of a sudden you realize that you've gone just a little too far. Far enough to realize there's a problem, but too far to tell what actually happened. And wouldn't it be so great if you could just go back a few steps? Well, it turns out that you can sometimes under certain circumstances. So let's take a look. Okay, so say you're in a debugging session. I'm just gonna debug an existing program from one of my previous debugging videos. And let's say I come in here and set a breakpoint in main, and then we'll run the program. Okay, this stops me at the beginning. Now, what this program is doing doesn't really matter, but just say that I next, you know, so I'm basically nexting along, moving through the code. And now let's just say I get to this point and realize I actually want to go back and look at this line 19 right here. Basically, I hit N one too many times. And it turns out that if you have a recent version of GDB, GDB has a reverse next command, or you can just for short type RN. And this allows you to do the same thing that next does only in reverse. When I heard about this initially, I was like, yes, finally, this is so useful. And then I tried it and I instantly saw this. Yep, not supported. So this reverse execution functionality really hasn't made it into my regular everyday use because I run into many cases where it simply is not supported. It's only supported on some platforms and I am currently running on a virtual machine that does does not properly virtualize the hardware in a way that supports this because I'm using VirtualBox right now and VirtualBox doesn't support reverse execution. So that's kind of annoying. So now I just jumped to a different machine, one running Linux natively on a platform that actually does support reverse debugging. So I'm just SSH'd into it. And now I'm actually debugging a different program, but same idea, okay? So let's start things the same way. So if I break main and then run it, and then start, uh, yes, okay. And then I start nexting through the code. All right, again, this is just a test program I used in one of my classes. So now let's say that I wanna go backwards and I use this reverse next command. Ah, okay, so it still's not working. It turns out that this default multi-thread target doesn't actually provide this functionality. So if on this machine, if I wanna use it, I actually need to tell GDB from the beginning that I want to record execution so that we can go backwards in it. So what's gonna happen here is we're going to, let's, let's start back from the beginning. So after we stop here on main, if I come in here and say target, record full. Okay, this is basically telling it, I want you to record the execution. Now, if we go through now and do next, 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 just like we did before. Now, if I do reverse next, you notice that we just go backwards. Okay, so which is really cool and really useful. Also, I wanna point out that it's not just next that can go in reverse. GDB now provides reverse versions of the common navigation command. So that's step, next, step I, next I, continue and finish. And you can also just use one command to switch directions. And then the normal next step and continue and finish commands will all go just in reverse. And this is really powerful. I can't wait for it to be universal universally supported on all of the platforms that I'm working on from day to day because I really, really want to use it more. So if you are lucky enough to be on a platform that supports it, then try it out. I hope you learned something new. Hope this helps you on a future project. And until next time, I'll see you later.